I want to ask you a question. Have you ever gotten to a place where you thought to yourself, I am tired of my life as it is right now. I'm tired, I'm ready for change, I want to see my life look a little different or a lot different from what it is right now. I had one of those moments some time ago, I had a moment where I thought to myself, quite literally, I am tired of being a loser. I'm so tired of living my life as it is right now. And one of the things that I did is I went and I got myself this little notebook. And I'll tell you what this is, because this is the most powerful thing that has happened to me that I've done for myself. In this notebook, I take my time diary. This is my time diary. So what happens is that on a daily basis, I write down what it is that I'm supposed to do for that day. And then throughout the day, I make little notes of what I spent my time doing. If I spent an hour on a phone call, I write that down. If I spent two hours sitting with so-and-so, I write that down. If I spent 30 minutes doing this or 10 minutes doing that, I write it down. And then at the end of the day, I come back and I check what I did with my time. Right? And this keeps me accountable. This helps me be able to keep my life in check and be able to point a finger at myself if I miss out on some goals, on if I miss the mark. I'm able to come back to this notebook and say, okay, what did you do with your time? What did you do on this day throughout this past week? So what I'm doing here right now is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to look at this past week, look at what I did with my time and correct myself. And because I don't always get it right. So I have to correct myself. I have to be able to see who did I spend my time with. Now, here's the thing. When I check this out, one of the things that I check out is, first of all, what did I spend my time watching and listening to? So I go to my YouTube to check what the videos that I watched this week. How much of these videos? What was the length of these videos? How does it help me? How does it help with what, where I'm going? How does it contribute to what I'm doing? Was it just for entertainment to just de-stress? Was it used as procrastination? Was I just wasting time? I go to my Spotify and I go check Spotify music. I love listening to music. What music was I listening to? What ideas am I picking up from this music? Was it just for entertainment? Did I listen to podcasts this week? What podcast did I listen to and how does it add to where I'm going? Why did I spend my time reading? Um, I'm about to finish off my, my reading for this week the book that I read this week. So, you know, I, I have a look at all of that. I counted, I add the time. Okay, this much time was productive, right? Out of that, because I'm not employed by anybody. I don't have to go into the office and clock in so that I, and, you know, and I know at the end of the week that I work 40 hours. I don't have that. You know, I have to check this for myself. Okay, this week, how much time was productive? How much time did you spend writing? How much time did you spend improving your craft as a speaker? How much time did you spend sharpening your skills? How much time did I spend doing that? It's very, very important. And so, one of the main things that's in my little notebook is who am I spending my time with? Right? So I check for this past week, I spent much of my time with a study partner, right? That's, that's towards my studies. I spent much of my time, you know, with someone that I met for the first time, but they have a similar goal. They are going, they are headed in the same direction. And so what I do is I classify the people in my life into three categories, right? I classify into three categories of the people that I spend my time with. Now, this is apart from family and you know, some old friends that every now and then you catch up with, just want to see how they're doing. They call, they call you to check on you. But the three main groups uh, is, first of all, people who are not where I am, but want to be where I am, right? So this might be a young guy who says, I want to be a speaker. I want to do what you're doing. I want to, you know, get to where you're going. You know, all of that. I, 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 how much time did I spend with that person? Right? These are the people that I want to help out. I want to contribute some of my time to someone who says, I want to build a social media platform uh, similar to yours. I want to be able to do what you've done so far. How can you help me? How can you add to that? And I see where I can help. And then the second person that I want to spend my time with is the person who is where I am, more or less, and they are going in the same direction. So someone who has the same aspirations, someone who has the same aspirations to build, to change the world, to make a difference, to make an impact in whatever kind of way. And I have, I have those names in here of some of those people that I either spend time with in person or spend time with on a phone call, texting, whatever it was. I have those people in here. 
that's the second person that I spend time with. First, first of all, it's the person who wants to be where I am. And secondly, it's the person who was going where I'm going because I'm going to need some people to walk with me as I'm going there. And the third person, and this is the most important one, it's the person who is where I want to go, right? So it's people who are where I want to go spiritually. You know, I want to drink from what it is that they have to give. Uh, people who are where I want to be financially. I want to speak to those people. People who are where I want to be just in their lives in general, right? Uh, a man who has a family, a successful business, um, loves the Lord and is making a difference, making an impact in the world. I want to speak to those people who are where I want to be. I want to speak to people who have built companies that have made millions because that's where I want to go. And so I make sure that I spend my time with those people. So that's my question to you. What are you doing with your time? Are you aware of where your time is spent? How, how you're spending your time? And I thought it might help somebody out there. And um, listen, if it's, if it's worth anything, I would highly suggest that you get yourself a little notebook and just sit down, you know, grab a piece of paper wherever you are right now and take an inventory. Take inventory of your time, how you spent your time over this past week. You know, if you have a full-time job, write the hours that you spent at work, what you did after work, the time that you spent catching up on that series, uh, write that down so that at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the year, at the end of the month, at the end of the week, when you look at your life and you look at the progress that you have made, you can honestly go back to this little notebook and say, Be fair, Poloko, you spend so much time doing nonsense. You spend so much time doing things that are not helping you at all. So you can't complain about not being where you want to be. So highly suggest that I hope it's helpful to somebody. I hope that it adds some kind of value and it has made a difference in my life and it continues to make a difference. It's helping me out big time. So pretty sure that that might help somebody else out there.